very welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angelica and here is my Instagram if you want to follow me there as well. Today I wanted to do like a really summery look with neons. I bought some neon pigments from OPV and these are the shades. So I bought three, so this is how they look. I bought one that is like a yellow slightly I would say it's a yellow but it feels like it has some green tint to it but this is the Purit, Purit or something and then I bought a green one Rapture and also a neon orange and this is just number three and these are I bought these on the website the OPV website and I paid it is 850 British pounds each and I have been wanting these uh, for quite some time and I have been wanting like a neon pigment and I know Angelica Nyqvist I will try to leave her channel down below uh, she have used these uh, in her videos and recommended them. So I bought three shades. As I said, I want to use the orange one today and I want to do like a purple crease and have this on my lid, do a cut crease or something. And yeah, I am super excited. I feel like this is going to be a very summery look. And I am going to use a palette that I really have been wanting to use for a while now. This is the Pinky Rose 80s Baby. I wanted to use this Pinky Rose uh, palettes more so I'm gonna I'm gonna grab this one this is very very cute actually so you have a lot of purple here like here <laughs> and I think this will be perfect and if I want like a deeper because this is like a satin and I'm going to pull out my all-time favorite lilac yellow from Colourpop just because I'm probably going to use this dark shade maybe these two uh, to deepen up with but yeah, I am going to zoom you guys in. And I already primed with my Kiko Milano eyeshadow base. So let's get started. Let's just take this Care Bear from this Pinky Rose palette. This is a light purple. And I'm going to take a very fluffy brush here. Just to see because it was quite a while since I used this palette. So I don't know if it's super pigmented because I want this as a transition shade yeah, this is stunning this is like a light lavender so when you see this I actually have occasion I have pre-filmed this so because this week when you see this video, <laughs> I am in this cabin I told you about. If you have seen my, tell you about that maybe in my like get ready shop my stash thing. Um, so I have occasion and this week will be a week that I just want to relax. I don't want to feel like I need to do something like I need to, uh, like doing stuff with YouTube or something like that. So just have like a really nice week without thinking about uh, stuff that I feel like I have to do. <laughs> so if I don't answer the, your comments right away, I I mean, uh, I'm maybe I'm not good at that sometimes either when I'm working because I have a lot, but I try to uh, do that and very fast, but if I don't, you know why, because <laughs> I'm on vacation, but I, I'm looking forward to it. When I'm filming this, uh, it's now it's Saturday, so I'm going to work next week, and then the week after that is when this video is coming up, So, and I'm going to have vacation, so that's so, so nice. I'm really, really looking forward to that, and... As I said before, I am going to have four weeks vacation and that is like, I mean, when I didn't have Ellie, when I didn't have uh, children or a child, <laughs> I was like, I had like two weeks vacation and I split it up. I just had like two weeks in a row and then I split it out. I love to do that and I had one week later on and then 
I worked one week and then had some days off, <laughs> something like that. Now I have it all like in, I'm taking this underneath as well. Um, now I'm just like having it like four weeks in a row, <laughs> but it feels really, really nice actually. But maybe it is different when you have like children or so because they, um, if you have children in school, uh, you, I mean, they have like summer vacation here or summer, I don't know what to call it, but that school is closed. <laughs> um, I mean, then it's pretty nice to also, uh, if you are, if you can <laughs> be also, uh, also have a vacation when you're child is free so this looks pretty it's so hot in here I oh, I don't know what to do <laughs> I don't know what to do I just feel like it is 100 degrees mm. we say 100 degrees like 100 degrees Celsius <laughs> it's just something you say well it's not 100 degrees here obviously but okay maybe we should go in Maybe we should try the satin actually, because this dapper is a satin shade. And I mean, we can have a satin, of course, in um, in the crease as well, but I'm just gonna see here. I'm just gonna deepen up here. Mm, or maybe I want something else, I don't know. Maybe this is going to be hard. We are going to cut the lid as well, as I said. No, this is working really nice, actually. So I'm super excited for this neon pigment. I don't know exactly if you need... I'm going to cut my crease, as I said. So, I mean, I'm going to have a sticky base, but I think... I don't know if you just can put it on with a non-sticky base. <sighs> I have a really hard time to believe that it will stick. I don't know. I'm not good at pigments because I almost never use pigments. I don't have... Do I have pigment? Yeah, I have pigments, but I never use them. I would love to use pigments more or buy more pigments, but because they are quite intense usually. This is looking really nice. I like this color and just because I it is a satin I was like should I deepen up with this but it works really nice and I really can't see that it is a satin. Seriously? I don't know. And as I said I'm going to cut the lid. I'm taking this Careberry again. Maybe I should wing it out a little bit here. Is this going to be very dramatic? I am going to a kid's party <laughs> today, so they are going to all wonder what's up with me. Why do I have so much makeup on, maybe? I don't know. Anyways. I like it. I like this a lot. This is very, very pretty. These shadows are really nice. I like the Pinky Rose uh, shadows. I want to, I'm going to have these in my shop, my stash, because these are so stunning, these palettes. I don't know why. You know, sometimes it's just, <sighs> you don't use them enough. Now I'm going in with this Lilac You a lot, this one, and see if we can deepen up even more. And then it actually, oh, this one has fallout. Then it actually, the Pinky Rose palette has a black, so... I think I may go in with a black as well just to deepen up even more maybe. I don't know. I don't know if I have to. This is quite dark as well, this one. And it's a little more cool tone. I have to be care with the f careful with the fallout because I have done the base. This went quite dramatic fast. <laughs> oh my god. I think I'm going in with this Care Bear again. This, this one. Because I like the tone of this Care Bear. Now it went a little 
cool tone here. Just going in and blend a little bit here. I am going to take this one again from uh, I like you a lot. Just put it here in the very outer part and then we'll see. We're going to do the lower lash line more later on. I just feel like we need that right now, that taking this Care Bear and just blend it out a little bit. These purple are great. Let me tell you that. Let's do a cut crease. I'm going to take this cut crease canvas as I always do. And then we just tap it here in, in the outer part here just to get a really blended and smooth transition to the purple. Now I'm in focus. Great. <laughs> great, great, great. And then I'm just going to tap it a little bit here. Something like this. Now I'm excited. Now we're going in with the pigment and I don't know which brush. Maybe this like a uh, flat shader brush. This is from Cleona, the stained glass collection. Look at this. Oh, this handle is everything. Now I'm going in with this number three. I have no idea how to do this. So, <laughs> and I don't know if I can show you, but here we have it. I'm just going to take the lid because you have some pigments here and then just, oh my god, I, I am pretty nervous right now actually. Uh, I'm gonna tap off the creases and maybe I need a smaller brush. Ooh, <laughs> this is cool. I feel like I need a smaller. Oh my god, this is okay, okay, okay. Fall out, fall out, fall out. No, I need, I know what I need now. I need to powder underneath. Oh my God. Let's, let's just hope we can <laughs> wipe this away. <gasps> Probably not. This was not easy guys. Um, Okay, I'm going in with some loose powder here, like really heavily. Now I took it too far up in the eyeshadow, but hey, let's just hope for the best here. I feel like this is hard to do, this pigment thing. Maybe I'm not used to it. Well, I'm not used to it, so... I have some here, but I thought I would have it underneath as well, so I think it will be cool anyway, so, so I'm just, well, it's not hard, but it is hard not to get it like, <laughs> like it fall out, so maybe you should do this when you don't have, like, your base already, like me. This is cool though. Oh my god, I love neons. I feel like like neons is like summer, like for me summer. I think it's so so cool. I think I'm gonna stop here and then I wanted to have it underneath. So let's just wrap it up a little bit. I need an another brush. So I'm going in on this side first and then we can do the lower lash. This powder I took underneath is actually the, you know, the Kat Von D locked it, but I haven't used it because I don't support Kat Von D, but now they are a different brand. The K... KVD Beauty. Is it that? So now maybe I can use my powder again. Well, I have so many powders anyways, but I feel like I like this powder, this locked it. So, I don't know. I don't know if the like new brand. It's not a new brand. They just um, she's not in the picture anymore. But if they have this powder still, I don't know. I have to look that up because I can't recommend it if it is 
still available like in the brand. This is so cool guys. I think this is really cool. I think orange and purple they go really nice together. Let's just take a small tiny brush and try try to do this underneath like just the inner part here. Maybe wrap it up a little bit. That can be so cool. Oh my god, I love this. I love this. Oh my god, this is this is intense, but I as I said I like it a lot. Pigment everywhere though. Uh <laughs> everywhere where I have had this. Oh my god. And this is like in neon, so you can see. Be careful <laughs> when you use this. Maybe you should have like one of these underneath and just put the yeah, you know the container in top of this so you don't have it all over uh okay let's see what are we going to do now i'm all over the place all over the place now i know now i know what to do so now i'm going in with this care bear again just on a small small brush this is from real techniques i love these brushes when it comes to like detail work this one in particular is the accent brush and I'm just gonna make it like around here just to intensify this cut crease a little bit just to make it pop a little bit and then maybe we should I'm gonna take this like this purple again and just intensify this as I said even more just a little bit. Now we need to blend this out here and I actually think we can do it with that shade Care Bear. So let's go in with this again with this small fluffy brush and maybe just tap it a little bit here where they meet. Yeah, just like that, I think. Now I really think we need to get this powder off. Like, so we can do the little lash line. Let's take this Care Bear again. Because I think uh, it disappeared when I powdered. <laughs> Powder it too far up here. And then on this black brush, I'm going in with this Dapper again. This was the satin shade in this palette. And I'm going to place it very close here to my lower lash line. I think I'm going in with the black. <laughs> Wish me luck. But I think this black right here, just a tiny bit. I am scared now because I don't know if this is going to be a good idea. But... I just want this outer part to be a little deeper. Just this. I'm so careful right now. But look at that. That actually made a difference from this side. I'm gonna do the same here. Just like in the corner, like in the outer V. And the last thing, I'm going to take this one again. Uh, on a fluffy brush because I feel like it needs to deepen up even more here as well. So I'm gonna, gonna take it here. Okay, now I think I'm done with the eyes. So I am going to put something in my waterline, liner, mascara, all that, lashes, and I'll be back. And maybe I have done the lips as well. We'll see. And I'll be right back. So this is the finished look, and here comes the close up. this is the finished look and I love it oh my god I love this neon um I don't know uh let's talk about them <laughs> I have just used one as I said and this is the first time so uh but what I noticed was it contained a lot of fallout because it is a pigment and it's very finely melt like 
almost like a powder but almost not I don't know it just you know and when you get neon here I mean it's not easy to get rid of so I would definitely if you're doing your base first definitely powder as I did and just wipe it away but oh my god this is cool, so cool I don't know how this will wear throughout the day so maybe I will try to come back to you and let me tell you how it is because I just put this on a like tacky base this um, cut crease canvas so I don't know if you are supposed to do something else or if it should be like I don't know uh, but I think it looks good so I'm very curious to see if it holds up during the day and I also put something on my lips and something in my waterline let's see here on my <laughs> in my waterline I put this BFF cream gel line from Colourpop and this is the purple one this is the piggy bank and on my lips I wanted to have like a more nude but also more like peachy peachy one because we have the orange here so I took this one out this is the Miss Lynn lipstick and this is the shade spicy ginger this is the color crush lipstick it looks like this it's very sheer and it has like uh, like a glossy feeling to it and I think it works really nice with this look and yeah tell me down below do you like it uh, do you like neons I love it as I said so I am super excited that I have these neons I'm gonna play with them more I also have the cake liners from Norvina uh, Anastasia Beverly Hills the neon ones uh, I have played with those as well I think it's so so fun but yeah this was it guys I really hope you enjoyed this video and uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up for this video if you liked it. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button down below if you want to subscribe to my channel. I would be super happy. Leave a comment and click on the notification bell. Then you will be notified every time I upload a new video. I always upload Monday, Wednesdays and Fridays. So take care. Bye.